Hello and welcome to this special edition of Eagle Talk. Today we will recap the women's soccer season and learn a little more about the life of a student athlete at the College of Brockport. Two of the players, Marissa Greyer and Ryan McMullen, are joining me now. Eagle Talk starts right now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Vahey. The College of Brockport women's soccer team fell just one game short of the playoffs, falling one to nothing to Cortland, the team that knocked them out of the playoffs in 2017. But the players are still around to talk with us today about the season and how they can improve from it. Joining me now are sophomores Marissa Greiner and Ryan McMullen. Marissa and Ryan, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having us. Okay, so now Marissa, I'll start with you. I, what made you really want to come to Brockport here? I see you're from East Syracuse, Manoa in the Syracuse area. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and tell us about that. Um, Brockport was one of my top choices because um, our coach, Mike Idolin, had been like recruiting me and mm -hmm. I um, came for some visits. I came twice, once in the winter and then again. Mm -hmm. And like overall, like the girls on the team were just so like welcoming and like it w I knew it was like the atmosphere for me. Like I wanted to be a part of that team. That's great. Now, Ryan, a similar question to you though, although a little, you're more local than this. You're from yeah. Rochester, Churchville, Chile. So, and I see you assigned a letter of intent to go to Edinburgh University in Pennsylvania, and then you decided not to go there. Instead, you came here to Brockport. Yeah. What happened there? So, uh, I committed to Edinburgh, like, junior year. And then, I mean, like, I felt as where I wanted to go. And then summer going into college, I decided, like, it just wasn't for me. I kind of always, like, overlooked Brockport just because it was, like, in my backyard, kind of. And then I um, started talking to, like, the coach and everything, talked to the girls, and I just decided, like, it was kind of like home. Like, it just fit. Like, everything fit good. And... I don't know, just everything worked out good. You'd rather be closer to home. Oh, yeah, I, I love it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and one other thing I noticed about, Ryan, is that I see in the summer and the off-season you play for the Rochester Lancers. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about um, that. I did it two summers now. Uh, it was pretty much just to, like, get touches, just good competition. The girls we played against were really good, and I just wanted to, like, be okay for, like, the season. So just pretty much getting ready for college. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. All right, so now, Marissa, back over to you. So well at ESM, I noticed you were one of the top players at your school. I can tell you. Like section 3, all best. But now you come here to Brockport and you play for the Golden Eagles, and you see it's a whole different world. Yeah. So tell us about how it feels to play soccer at a whole different world. Ever. Um, it's definitely way more competitive than it mm -hmm. was, like, in high school. Um, even, like, the team chemistry, like, you're all, like, playing for each other because, like, there's no, like, after college, like, soccer, really. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you're with the team like a lot more, mm -hmm. so like I felt like I felt more like comfortable here. Like it's a lot different. Mm -hmm. Interesting, I see. So now recently, Marissa, this was just posted recently in the past week. You were named to All Suniac second team. Mm -hmm. So yeah, playing in 17 games this season, starting in all but one, tying for second on team in the points with eight. So tell us how do you feel about that? Um, it actually was a bit surprising. Like I didn't think like anything of it really. Mm -hmm. There is like there's numbers a number of girls who could have gotten that award, but like I'm grateful that it was recognized. Like, yeah. so now Ryan, over to you now. Your assistant coach Mary Kay Maslanka is also a teacher at Churchill Chile. Yeah. So how does that feel for you as well as your other teammates, Olivia Cooter and Mara Zimmerman, who also are church Um, I think it helped me coming as a freshman. Mm -hmm. Like I felt so comfortable having the girls I played with like in high school, mm -hmm. having like Mara as like my coach there, and like I had her in high school. Mm -hmm. It was just like it was just way more comfortable. It helped me trans like transition better. Just it was good. Like I don't know, it helped. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. So now we'll dive into this past season. I know it wasn't one of your best seasons. I'm sorry to hear that. But what do you think you learned about this year that you can prepare for next year? As both you and Marissa and Ryan go ahead and say. I think that we definitely this year have been like the closest any of us have been like. Yeah. All of us, like our fr the freshmen that came in, like clicked immediately. Like we all, it was just automatic friendships. I think that like next season that will help. Like I think we'll be welcoming to the new freshmen. Um, I think, I think we're we already know like what we're fighting for mm -hmm. and everything. Like I know like next season I want to go as far as like our boys team did. Like yeah. that was something that I was yeah. like wow. Yeah, they went all the way to the NCAA tournament second round. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. see that's going to inspire you to hopefully shoot for that next year? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that. Yeah, our results weren't there, but, like, our team chemistry was definitely there. So we can build from it. Like, now we know what we need to, like, step up mm -hmm. and make it happen. Yep. And I know, Ryan, you're a defender. So you yeah. haven't talked as much as the offensive players. Yeah. But as I say, I noticed I looked at your stats, and you get a lot of playing time. 
Yeah. Does that make you tired a lot? Like, how could that make you <laughs> I'd say that, that you have a big disposition in the back. Um, you're all. Yeah, I get tired, but uh, <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm center D, so like, it's more just like covering people, um, yeah. making tackles. It's worth it. <laughs> I mean, I love it. <laughs> it's tiring, but it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Being there for my team. All right. So now, Marissa, back over to you. This is a moment I'm sure you're never going to forget. So back in the first game of the year, home against Utica, that game you had a big assist to Mariah Saar, the game winner with the 87th minute on the turf at Bob Boozer Field, and it later ended up being a SUNYAC Player of the Week. So <laughs> how do you feel about that, getting that big assist? It felt good. It felt good to, yeah. to win the game and to mm -hmm. um, know that like, we all played hard and like, yeah. it felt good with the mm -hmm. result. Yep. So now I noticed the toughest games in the conference, I noticed were Geneseo and Cortland. Like Geneseo did really, really well this year. They went all the way to the finals in the conference. I know last year you fell to Cortland. I know this year you need to beat Cortland to make the playoffs, and you lost to them, eliminating that chance. But now what are you hoping for to get over that hump next year, both of you? Because Geneseo and Cortland are the best, too. Like your goal is to hopefully beat them and get over that. So what are you going to plan to do for that? I mean, I mean, both games, we weren't really far behind. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you like watch them, we were always kind of with them. Yeah. I think it just step it up. Like We had it. We had the skill. It just mm -hmm. like... It, bringing it to the next level and just getting those goals. We need to score. Mm -hmm. yeah, what do you have to say on that, Marissa? I feel like now that like we have like our team chemistry and everything, I feel yeah. that next year we'll know what to do. We'll already have played together for a year, and it will like help with like our our chances at like going to the senior. Mm -hmm. So now let's I'll go back to both of you. Now let's talk about your coach, Mike Ivan. Like, you said something a little bit about Marissa, but how do you both feel playing for him? I know you said something about recruiting. Marissa. He does recruit very well. He mm -hmm, yeah. he's smart with it. He knows like he'll do it like position wise and like yeah. the best fit for the team. Mm -hmm. um, he gets them like interactive with us like before they even commit or something. Mm -hmm. Like I said on my recruit visit, I met a bunch of the girls at like lunch, had an overnight. Mm -hmm. Like he gets them involved to make them feel like this is like a good place, a yeah. good fit. And that, that was a similar thing for you, Ryan. I know you went to Ed, you were about to go to Edinburgh and yeah. change. So did the island have something to do with that? Oh or? yeah, I mean he brought me in. Like I had lunch with some of the girls. Like mm -hmm. just the way he like makes everyone like come together. It just you feel comfortable. Like it's nothing's like awkward or weird mm -hmm. at first, which is nice. And like he's just yeah. very soccer smart. And like I like that he's very structured, which like you need for like practices. Like mm -hmm. you know what you're gonna do. And like I like everything like about how he does that and like how he runs things. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yep, so now it's going to be a little different now. Uh, the team's going to be way different next year with all these seniors graduating. Olivia Cooter, Ashley Cabza, Riley Fodi, Brianna Siaka, Lindsay Levitt, Maddie Sinclair, all of them are graduating. So now how do you both feel as sophomores now about to be juniors stepping up to fulfill their roles next year when they're no longer on the team? Um, I think it's going to be like a big, a big step for us. Like mm -hmm. it's, it, we've been looking up to them, and now we're going to have people looking up to us, and it's it's going to be like a big change. But yeah. I think that I think we will be will be a strong like leadership for them. We'll definitely miss them, but um, I think we can do it. I mean, yeah. we relied on them a lot, yeah. Yeah. but I mean, it's time to step up and have the other girls rely on all of us and just be leaders now and just show them like how it's done. Yep, that's pretty big. And I know, uh, as I know you're from the Syracuse Manoa area. <laughs> so I think, did you play against Riley Fodi in high school a couple of times? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, um, I played against her my, like, for three years, and then my senior year she had already graduated. So, but, yeah. It's, it's kind of weird, I guess, your enemies in high school, and then you come to your friends in college, yeah. or vice versa, because I know some of your friends you had in high school played on a team against you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what do you have to say about that, Ryan? Did you have any similar things going on with you? Or? Um, I mean, I know I, uh, I played Lexi against Lexi and Krista in high school, but we never really, like, knew each other. And I guess just having, like, Mara and, like, Liv on my team, like, I mean, that was nice. Yeah. So I kind of knew a bunch of, like, the Rochester girls. It was kind of weird, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Coach Island seems to be smart with his recruiting, I can tell you that. There's a lot yeah. of girls from Rochester. Yeah, Rochester, Buffalo, Syracuse. Yeah, it's got people in New York City, Long Island. I yeah. Too. Yeah. Unlike some other t teams where I've seen people coming from out of state, there's really not that many. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, so now finally we'll get ready to wrap it up soon. So what are you each majoring in here in Brockport? What do you plan to do in the future? Ryan, I'll start with you. Uh, I'm a criminal justice major, and I'm also a communications major. Mm -hmm. And after I graduate, I want to be a police officer, hopefully. That's like my plan right now. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Marissa? Um, my major is social work right now. So mm -hmm. after college, I would like to be a medical social worker and like work with um, children in hospitals. To mm -hmm. 
Well, pretty interesting careers there. So I'll ask you a little more on that then. So Ryan, what made you want to look into becoming a police officer? Um, I mean, it kind of started when I was little. I was just kind of said like, I want to be a cop. I want to be a cop. And then I got the opportunity to intern with like Monroe County Sheriffs, mm. and like I did ride alongs, so, like I did it all, and I just like fell in love with it. And then after that, I just like never turned back. Like I've just been obsessed with it ever since. So that's just been my goal. Sure, you'll be looking forward to me on the road one day, putting the bag. Oh in yeah. The jail. So that's just been like <laughs> what I've been. Don't pull do. me over. about that. <laughs> Yeah, and what about you, Marissa? What made you want to do a show? Um, I think, like, just my, like, I love, like, playing with little kids and stuff and, like, everything wow. and, like, looking for, like, the good and everything. So, oh, like, I think nice. that was it. Nice, yeah. All right, and then my last question, we'll wrap it up here, is how do you both juggle playing soccer with academics, both in season and out of season? Because I know college athletics are a big commitment. I know yeah. on top of you, yeah, keeping tag your school. So that's got to be tough, so. It's hard. Yeah. It's definitely hard at first. Um, yeah. You figure it out. You have to, yeah. or you can fall back on. You learn, you yeah. learn how to do it. Yeah. Yep. Pretty much just like making time to study, making time to like get your work done so you can go do your soccer and like have time for friends, have time for other things. Like if you don't, you're not going to get everything done. Yeah, yeah. All right, perfect. Well, Ryan and Marissa, thank you both for coming on today to talk soccer. It was my pleasure to cover you and be at all your games this year. Yes, thank, thank you. you. All right, well. That's all the time we got for this edition of Eagle Talk, and be sure to give Talent a follow on all our social media channels. I'm Ben Vahey. I'm Ryan McMullen. And I'm Marissa Greiner. Thanks for watching. <laughs>